I think it is time we introduce a new member to the family. And I'm not talking about puny hamsters because this next suggestion says, day two of asking Fudgy to make Gary's big, big brother. Welcome back to Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. Before I get into today's suggestions, a new update recently came out. So now we can go ahead and actually make our very own dinosaur. Let's add that right there. It looks really strange. We also have some new humanoid legs as well, as you can see, including the demon legs. So that's interesting. I am very intrigued to see where your suggestions go with this one, because this new update is uh, pretty strange. We can even add tails now as well. Look at this. I'm pretty sure that's a Spinosaurus tail right there. And we can also add claws. So this, uh, let's go for these hands right here, these claws. Claws. We can even scale them up. Look at that. That thing looks terrifying. Have I, wait, have I put them on the wrong side? You know what? I'm just going to leave it. Who cares? Now, moving on to the head, we can add... Oh, geez. Giant T-Rex head. Okay, you know what? I do want to quickly see this thing in action. So let's try take out the elephants here. So yeah, that giant T-Rex head is going to do a lot of damage. Here comes the lava golem. It's going in. So yeah, this update is very cool. And uh, like I said... Your suggestions will definitely be a little bit more interesting now after seeing this update. One more elephant left. And... Oh, the claws are going in as well. Look at that. The backward claws that I've put on wrong. Oh, here comes the lava golem. And the elephant is down. Anyway, let's remove this. And let's move on to the first suggestion of the day. Which says, Day 7 of asking Fudgy to cover the back of a lava golem with spikes. So when he rolls, he looks like a porcupine. Porcupine? Porcupine. So, step one, go to spikes. Do we go for the curved spikes? I feel like that makes the most sense since he does roll quite a lot. Now, we're going to have to fill his entire back with these spikes. So, I say we scale them down. Let's just go with one to begin with and uh, go a little bit crazy. I'm not sure if he'll still be able to roll or not, but it will certainly do more damage. That's for sure. Does he look like a porcupine yet? No, not really. Okay, let's just keep adding spikes. Lots and lots of spikes. Maybe they should be a bit more random since a porcupine has uh, spikes literally everywhere. And it doesn't really matter where you put them. As long as they look bunched together, no one should really care or know. So yeah, let's go a little bit crazy, shall we? Here we go. I'm really excited to see what this does, though, to the elephants. I'm guessing when he rolls over them, if he still can roll, it's just going to kill them instantly. That actually doesn't look too bad. All right, let's start the fight. Let's see. Can he still do his roll attack? Moment of truth. Come on. Yes. Oh, he can still do it. It works. Okay, the elephant didn't die straight away, but it has taken some damage. Oh, it's fallen over. What is it doing? All right, so we're probably going to need some stronger enemies for the lava golem to fight as well. The elephants haven't really done too much damage to me. Oh, look, the other ones run straight into the back of the spikes. Yeah, I guess I kind of look like a porcupine, right? It's not too bad. Oh, that's one elephant down. Oh, they're both down. Nice. I might regret this fight because we're going up against the Hydra next. Bro! Oh! Straight in their faces. Yes, that's it. Keep punching. Look at that. Those spikes have gone right into that left head right there. Uh, oh, it's not looking too good for the Lava Golem. No, no, don't push me off the edge. Don't push me off the edge. We have done a lot of damage to the left and right head by the looks of it. The middle one, well, as you can see, the health hasn't really gone down too much. And I have died. But good effort, though. Time for a bit of bowling action. I've got the pins all lined up here. And let's see if this works. Okay, here we go. Get ready. And roll. Yes. <laughs> oh, nice. Almost a strike. He genuinely actually killed pretty much all of them. What? Okay, there's still three alive. Okay, make that, make that two. <laughs> oh, he's rolling again. No, don't roll out the map. Two left. Come on. All he has to do is roll one more time. Wait, he's done it. Nice. Goru, you're up next, buddy. I'm not sure if the Lava Golem will win this one. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so sometimes he does miss with the spikes, but you can tell it is still doing a lot of damage. Oh, no. That was a big punch. Who's winning this one? Oh, we're winning. Yes. Oh, he's punching my spikes. Ow, ow. That's bad. <laughs> That's so bad. No, we're losing now. If he just rolls, come on, dude. Just, just roll. We are... This is a draw. This is actually intense. I don't know who's going to win this one. Yes, fire attack. That could be the win for us. Yes. Nice. The porcupine won. 
So this here is a map that I don't usually play on. It's like a swampy type of map, but that's because the next suggestion says day three of asking to armor up the green anaconda to kill the Titanoboa. So let's start the fight and see what happens before we add the upgrades. It's actually pretty small, so it might be hard to add armor. Oh, there we go. The Titanoboa has actually won straight away. I didn't even see a really good strike there, but easy victory. Barely any damage taken. So yeah, this is definitely going to be a challenge. Obviously, the anaconda is a very large snake, but in terms of adding armor, it's going to be a bit difficult. So maybe we should more focus on adding the weapons. In fact, can I give this guy a helmet? <laughs> I know it's going to look kind of stupid, but it will definitely help out in the attacks. Yeah, that looks kind of dumb, but I'm keeping it anyway. So this is a very difficult creature to actually work with. Seems like, well, it's not exactly the perfect hitboxes or anything like that, but you know what? It's fine. Let's just add armor going all the way down. It's going to look horrendous, but as long as it works, then it's fine. You know what? I'm also going to include the new update as well. Let's give this guy some claws. Let's go for maybe these claws right here. And then that way we do a little bit of extra damage. Um, I don't know how I feel about that, but let's start the battle. Here we go. It will struggle to move a little bit, but as long as it can move over towards the enemy, it should be fine. Oh, big attack. Spikes have gone into the Titanoboa now. Oh, it's taking way more damage. Come on. Just Oh, it's wrapping around it. Oh, whoa! <laughs> what the? These snakes can be buggy. Wait, did we do it? Yes! Victory! I can't believe that actually worked. We took a lot of damage, as you can see, but I have created an anaconda that is capable of taking down this giant titanoboa. Now, eat it. Moving on, we have another suggestion here that says, Day 2 of asking for a scaled-down boar for a hamster for Gary's family. Now, what you don't actually realize is the hamster is already here. Do you see the hamster anywhere? Because it is right at the end over there. So yeah, I've already created it. It's actually facing the wrong way, but I would like to introduce you to the hamster of Gary's family. Pretty cute, right? But with that being said, the family now has to fight some infernals. Start the fight. Here we go. Okay, let's see the hamster in action. Oh, no. We've scaled it down too much. The hamster is broken. Oh, no. What a disaster. So I can actually scale down the hamster a little bit more if I wanted to. But as you can tell, it's already very broken. All right, come on, Gary's family. Some of them have already fallen, which isn't good. There's the grandpa. Come on. Get the lava girl. Oh, nice. Good work. Right, we need to fix this hamster. More creatures inbound, even swarm bugs. But come on, hamster. I just want to see you run towards the action and take him down. Okay, yeah, he really is broken, as you can see. This is going to be a tougher fight for Gary's family, though, as there's more enemies to take down now. Come on, dog. Oh, no, what's happened to you? Oh, no, I think the spider got to him. That's not good. Come on. The hamster is getting closer. Well, actually, they're getting closer to the hamster. Uh oh, be careful. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, but we're still going to win this fight by the looks of it. Yes, we have a lot of survivors here. Is the hamster okay? Oh, no, the hamster has died, but we still won the fight. Grandpa is making sure grandma is all right. And uh, for good reason, because they are now up against the ancient army. Start the battle. One arrow from one of those guys over there. And that hamster is dead. Oh, no, it's not looking too good for the family. They're highly outnumbered, but their strength is what keeps them alive. Oh no, the hamster. Run, hamster, get out of there. <laughs> it's nibbling their feet. Yeah, get that toe. Oh, hang on a minute, it's dead. I was gonna say nibble the toes, but never mind. Gary's family have been defeated. I think it is time we introduce a new member to the family. And I'm not talking about puny hamsters because this next suggestion says, day two of asking Fudgy to make Gary's big, big brother. So the cousin is currently the largest family member. As you can see, he is a unit. This is Gary, of course, the second biggest out of the family. But now we're making Gary's big brother. And this guy is going to be ridiculous. So let's get the hill giant in and let's scale Gary's big, big brother. Oh, my good. OK, you know, what? we're not going to go that crazy. We are. <laughs> We don't want anything crazy, crazy, okay? But uh, 
What, what about this? I mean, that's pretty crazy, right? Do we go a little bit more crazy, maybe? 1.8? All right, you know what? I'm going to do that. But this is also going to be the first family member where I change some of the stats. I think it just makes a little bit more sense to do that. So we won't go too crazy, but let's just go with maybe four and two for the attack. So yeah, nothing too crazy. Oh yeah, also check out the new humanoid faces we have too. Look at that. <laughs> That's really creepy. Okay, let's remove that. Just to think, we can now actually add dinosaur heads to whatever we want. I can give him dinosaur nipples. There's really no limits. But again, we're going to remove that. You know what? I am not even going to add that much to him. I think he looks pretty good how he is. I gave him similar armor to Gary. That way you know that they're brothers. I don't know how that works, but we'll go with it. So let's start the fight and let's see if this guy is stronger than the others. Well, he should be anyway. That's it. Destroy the horse rider. Destroy. Okay, he's, he's killing the horse now. He's done it. Yeah, look at the size of this guy. Look at him go. Oh, man, what a beast. He should be the last alive. Usually, it's the daughter over there, but he has extra health, so it makes sense for him to stay alive the longest. Oh, he's taken so many shots from the archers. Come on, Gary's brother. Officially the strongest out of the family. Oh, he's picked one up. Oh, by the head. What is he doing with him? Where is he taking him? <laughs> what? I guess he's kind of stupid. Just kill him, dude. And he's dropped him and then kicked him. Okay, look, he is now the last alive, but he died. They did a lot better that time, though. Not as many survivors. So I want to do some more tests with Gary's brother here. We have a T-Rex coming against us now. Let's see if we can take it down. Oh, no, he's been thrown around like a rag doll there. T-Rex is very powerful, but hopefully the brother will be able to take him down. Oh, it's not looking good. He might need some further upgrades. Oh, don't punch him in the mouth like that. That's a bad idea. Oh, he's got him in the leg. No, and also because of his size, I think he does tend to lose balance a lot more easy, which can be a bit of a problem. Okay, he's now down, but uh, he did a little bit of damage to the T-Rex. Oh, yeah, and another thing, actually, I just realized. That fight had the same multiplier, so what if I change it back to one and then make him fight the T-Rex? Because we want to make sure the T-Rex has its default values since we have upgraded our Gary's big brother, I guess. Okay, here we go. And fight. Oh, big punch from Gary. That's it. Don't let him bite you. He let him bite you. Okay, great. Don't worry. It's fine. Just keep throwing those punches. Now you can see a lot more damage is being done to the T-Rex since we put him back to the default values. Come on. Oh, nice. Yes. Don't let him bite. I feel like the armor as well is actually helping him. Sometimes he can't get a grip because of that. Yes, he's going to win this fight. No way. So that means Gary's big brother is capable of taking down dinosaurs, which is insane. Let's also get the Spinosaurus after this one, even though I don't think the Spinosaurus is as powerful. There we go. Just like that. He has destroyed the T-Rex. What an absolute beast. So not only does he have to fight the Spinosaurus now, but he also has to take down the raptors. They're going to be nibbling away while he's trying to fight this guy. Oh, no. One has a group of him. Wait, are they both dead already? They are. Nice. Okay. Now all you have to do is concentrate on the last dinosaur right here and you're good to go. Big punches. Looking good. Oh, you know who we need him to fight? We need him to fight Goru. That's going to be a good battle because this Spinosaurus is about to die any second now. A few more punches. Yes. Looking good. Come on. And it is dead. Nice. Now, both of them attack pretty in a similar way with their punches. So let's see what happens here, shall we? He is actually a lot bigger than the default Goru here, as you can see. Oh, health-wise, it's fairly similar. Oh, it's very similar, actually. Oh, no. That was a huge punch from Goru. His punches are too powerful. Okay, stay away from the edge. Stay away from the edge. That's it. Oh, and this is an epic battle right now. And they are tying pretty much. Come on, big bro. You got this. I really have no idea who's going to win this one. Oh, hang on a minute. Now I know that punch has done so much damage to the big brother here. It is game over for him. He has met his match with Goru. Oh, and he is down. Now, something you need to remember is Animal Revolt Battle Simulator is a physics based game, which means the outcome can always be a bit different to the last one. And who knows? Maybe there is a chance big bro here could take down Goru. I mean, half health isn't too bad. It was that big punch that launched him away that did the most damage. Now, typically, this demon right here is a lot more powerful than the hill giant. But because we've, of course, upgraded him, maybe he can actually take him down. Oh, okay. That fire is bad. 
That's it. Keep punching. Keep punching. Oh, no. It's not looking good. Okay, the demon really is too powerful for this unit. Did we name the big bro as well? Gary's big brother. I feel like he deserves a name. You know, he is the strongest unit. Oh! Oh, no. He's been punched off the map. And not too much health has been taken away from him. Next suggestion. Day 17 of asking Fudgy for a downscaled smallest unit versus an upscaled largest unit. So I don't actually know what the largest unit is in the game, to be honest. I think it could be the Hydra. Goru's pretty large, of course. The Brachiosaurus as well. But you know what? Let's stick with the Hydra anyway. It looks really cool. So this has now been scaled up all the way. And in comparison, this is what a normal Hydra looks like. So it has been scaled all the way up to five, as you can see. But what about the smallest unit? Let me know if you can see it. I can see it pretty much just right there. So this is an ant, but it has been scaled all the way down. So let me just show you the reference. So great bulldog ant. This is its normal size. So it's quite... <laughs> A large ant. In fact, it's huge. And then just scaled all the way down to 0.2. But then again, the wild boar is probably smaller than that. What about a tiny Velociraptor? Look at that. <laughs> he can't even stand up. Okay, let's just stick with the ant and let's watch this fight. Oh, it really can't stand up. The ant's making its way over. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> the smallest attack you have ever seen in Animal Revolt history. In fact, it's in its mouth right now. It's holding on. How is the ant not dead yet? All you have to do is bite down. Oh, there we go. And we lost. Hydra killed it pretty quickly there. Although not as quick as I thought it would. If we want to stand a chance of taking on the giant Hydra, then we are going to need an army of ants. Here we go. Okay. And let's go ahead and start the battle. Charge. Oh, I hate that noise so much. Wait, what? What? Oh, it died. Yeah, stupid Hydra. You know what? I am actually going to scale it down just a little bit because, well, it is ridiculous right now. Let's just go to four. That's team one. Let's change that to team two and start the fight. So hopefully I'll be able to stand up a little bit or not. Right, here come the ants. Yes, look at that. They are doing damage to that left head, as you can see. It is working a little bit. Oh, no. Whenever you see that green blood, that ant juice, that's when you know he has done damage to the ant army. Oh, look at that. They're, they're nipping his neck. The side of his head. Oh, look at that. Hang on a minute. That head is now dead. Just need to take down the right side and then the main one in the middle. Wow, the ant army are actually winning. There we go. Right head is also been killed. Well, technically the left head. Now we just need to finish off the Hydra. Look at it. I like how they jump in its mouth. Why are they doing that? That's such a bad idea. Come on. It's almost dead. And now it actually is dead. So the ant army are victorious this time around. But on that note, I'm going to end this one right here. There is another video on the top right, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you in that video right there. Goodbye!